Hi, I'm Eric Needham. I'm a woodworker. This is all I do, and it's a pursuit toward perfection. I'm in this to be great at what I do. For me, it's the aesthetic experience. You're sitting down at your cabinet. It should be a source of inspiration. What I'm doing in the production of my standard cabinets, not the ultra custom ones, is I create racks of perfect Lego pieces. And my apprentices come in and help assemble all that and get it to final finishing. Custom pieces I take all the way through until very final finishing. The cabinet set that I basically used all my crayons, every joinery technique, everything, I just went the long way on everything, was Ludwig Goranson, Mandalorian and Black Panther. He did the stuff with Childish Gambino and Trolls World Tour. I have a daughter and she absolutely loved that movie, so that was a big one. Beautiful cabinet. There was like this whole caster base that it like friction fit inside of it, and it was this double, you know, 10 row, 168. I mean, this thing's incredible. That piece was special for me. J.J. Abrams was a recent finish. That was a monstrosity. And he had this brand new home studio. The ceiling kind of went at an obtuse angle to the wall, and my cabinet fit into that, among some other things. And I was working with the guys who built amazing studios. Everything had to be in CAD, and then J.J. was actually using his 3D goggles to virtually see his whole studio. That was a super fun project to work with. Bobby Krillick, who'd scored Midsummer. He was like, oh, I want to get this 15U double. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and, but he wanted that oak and all these like custom. Then I got into it. I'm like, this is spectacular. And his aesthetic request and all that stuff is what made it a really fun project to work on. And at the end, I've taken all those features and then they've gone into my standard stuff. A lot of the customizations that happen on the standard stuff weren't requested. What I'll do is I'll go through the wood and we're milling down and we'll have a cabinet that's almost finished and there's a huge knot. It's like, oh. So you don't scrap a beautiful cabinet. Right there is my opportunity, and the grain goes that way. I can do a cool inlay that goes with it, and it complements the wood. I just made it more beautiful. A lot of the features and the evolution of my cabinets has come from a bunch of little things that have happened, or an errant like cut, right? Take, you know, a router goes and blows something off the side. Then you look at it like, well, actually, this is pretty rad if I were to continue it over, make it arced, and all of a sudden I'm like, well, I want to apply this to my other cabinets now. I make a lot of cabinets that have a lot of rows. And with Eschatonic Modular, which is my other company, the installation is effortless. Everything clicks together. The hybrid linear switching model is very efficient. It's dead quiet and they're beautiful, <laughs> you know? So it's the white with the black, there's the monochromatic, it matches the inside, minor recess with the, with the mounting boards. There's nothing to wire. You click them all together. And we have the custom power plates that go in. The whole thing is effortless. My day is like in front of machines, in my hand tools. I get this moment to myself. What I consider to be church with quiet tools and get to build beautiful things. I'm using my hands, I'm doing the stuff that my grandfather did. It feels, feels good. This is an absolute dream. I'm Eric Needham. I make the finest Eurorack cases in the world. <laughs>